and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now today we've only got a few, a well there is an absolute load of different sheds from Alien Gym but first let's go to the mod hub. Right then we've just got three today but three is better than none so the first one is the Mercury Farms shed pack by Alien Gym so that should be quite interesting because normally they're a lot cheaper than all the others as well then we've got the outdoor climate pigsty and that's by much to or something like that anyway in this outdoor climate pigsty is 300 pigs can be stabled okay we will have a look at that it looks a bit different and then we have the Lizard Idea Aligner 106. Now I thought this was a truck, but obviously not. It's a trailer, a huge capacity. Now this is the largest trailer we've got currently in the game, if that's what it says. It is 63,000 litres, and that's by no dot name. Brackets LSMC. Right, and that is your lot today right so first off we're gonna have a look at the lizard idea liner 106 now I've had trouble with this every time I've been driving this around it um, game crashes um, this is the third or fourth time I've done this now so hopefully it's not going to crash because I've just got everything set up and it crashed and then looking around we have this now this piece here sticking out I think that's meant to be in there and it seems to be glitching out a little bit so that's probably what it is so there is a little problem with it but it is £72,000 to buy and £3,697 for initial leasing cost minus 11 slots but it is 63,000 litre so it is an absolute beast it's the biggest trailer we've got in the fleet so far now you can have quite a few different color, color combinations your main color and the design color which is actually the cover they are free and weirdly the rims will cost you 200 pounds now there are the colors aren't that great really right so we got the rim colors which are all your normal colors anyway and then the design color We've got a few added extra ones there. There's the original blue, what it comes as. And then you've got white beige, silver metal. And then your main color, you've got a lot of extra grays. So if you like gray, you'll be loving it. Light gray, old, white, that is proper white that was that was very bright wow and you can see they don't cost you any extra money but when you click on to rims it's 200 quid so you click on the design color and if we go for a blue and yeah it doesn't change and then you've got the option with it with back reflectors on the back just there on off and then also with and without a spare wheel there's a with eight wheel and you see the wheels appear underneath the trailer there so nice looking mod pretty nice bit of kit 63,000 liters that's a uh, crazy so yeah we've got the grain door and the normal door and it does say about in the mod hub itself that it is quite steep for when you're unloading but I'm pretty sure this is gonna crash on me but we, we'll leave that there for a minute let's have a look at the outdoor climate pigsty 
now this is a little bit cheaper than the other pig enclosures we got where this one is 200,000 pounds and it's 250 pounds maintenance on it a day minus nine slots and it does hold 300 pigs where the others hold 250 pigs this is your straw here and here is your food trough and that's the cleanliness at the moment i've checked it and as we have generated one pig over about it was about 36 hours quite a long time now over here is your water trough and your water trigger point and there is where you're buying and well you're moving your pigs from and then go in was it out the back yeah they got a little generator shed you can't go in uh generate well so where the switch room is not generator and then yeah it was this side we have our slurry slurry point and then we've also got our manure point just here but no it's i what i did like about it is that it's open so you can actually drive in and if you come in the wrong side you can just drive all the way through to the other side but it seemed pretty cramped with uh, 300 pigs in here but it is meant as a climate controlled where yeah it's indoor outdoor really isn't it so there is lighting going on I think that I haven't seen any switches so that must be just for yeah no new no switches I can find so they must come on at night time but yeah nice looking little feature now when I, I did have trouble placing it where it only seems to place in certain directions where all the other things you can spin them all around well it wasn't wasn't having it whatsoever there is like a couple of it does it at 90 degrees increments only which um a bit of a pain but it is what it is so that is the climate but the climate pigsty you have got to watch it says about using small equipment and the reason is because of this low roof there and the same this side but i've got this trailer with the where is it with the 8,000 litres in there and it well it does go in but it's struggling it's dragging all the way through so you've got to use a smaller one or you can use conveyors I haven't checked to see if conveyors will go through there but I suppose you can convey up over the top anyway can't you you can put a conveyor on the outside and just conveyor up food in jobs are good in so yeah it was let's go on and have a look a minute uh 31 hours we're reproduction rate at the moment so yeah all good all working then move i'm so don't want to we're gonna have to dump off something we've got a load of pig food in here and we have a load of loads and loads of alien gym sheds now this is one of the silos there's four different silos these are absolute game changers because the cost of them is crazy compared to anything else and what they hold as well let's just go into the shop and go to silos so at the moment we've got these silos and you can see what they hold they don't hold everything and they only hold 200,000 each and then you can get an extension which is another 100,000 and th so these are minus three slots so if you want to extend it it's going to cost you quite a few slots let me go over to the AJ tech and you see they hold more commodities 59,000 and it's 500,000 of each one they're the four different farm silos available and they're all 59 grand so they're an absolute bargain 59 grand as compared to going back to these 110 180 then each, each extension as well because these are only that's only 200,000 it doesn't hold everything you, you need as well because it only holds was it wheat barley 
oats, canola, corn, sunflowers and soy. Whereas this one, look at it all. You've got all that and some, which is exactly what you want. And 500,000 litres of each one. So that's the first one, the silos. We're going to drop some in there in a minute. Now here's got the building feature on these. So basically you come over and you've got all your wood laid out. You've got your buildings all laid out. So you come over, hit the icon. Where are we going? There we go. And we got a bit of self building going on. So there's the other silo. And they are silos you drive straight through. And that's the four different silos available. Then we have some sheds. Well, actually, let's have a look at the. This is the seeds, and the fertilizer is over here. Is that yeah? No. Yeah. This is the seed. That's the fertilizer, and you can get your herbicide from here as well. Now these are just so cheap 2700 pounds now the seed hut is minus two slots and the fertilizer one is only minus one slot so it's so cheap really cheap then we have one of these sheds now there's 12 different sheds to choose from and we got that one there where you've got your open bit that side and then well if you've seen mercury farms these are the sheds from mercury farms basically pretty cool so we got another one here oh it's that one i thought it's not working and that is one of the wash stations which is uh, pretty cool. There's four different types of wash station. These are 14 grand and minus three slots a pop. So where's that one gone? Oh, that one's there. So this one is a, another shed. I think this is a smaller one. No, it's another wash station. That's one of the other sheds. And then you've got lighting in there. There is switches for it as well on these. And then, uh, yeah, the, this is your workshop, actually, sorry. Now, your workshop is 22 grand, and they're minus three slots. So they're all really low slot count anyway. And, of course, you've got storage as well with this one. And then what? which one have we got here? Where is the build icon? I reckon it's in that shed so we can't build it it's not there is it it's just not there yeah and these are the we've got some drive through sheds and these are at 18 grand a little bit cheaper but they're only minus one slot as well but, it, but there's only two sides and that's one of the other bigger sheds yeah, these drive-through sheds, there was four of these available. And they were actually under miscellaneous. No, they weren't. They're under sheds. And there they are there. You got M MF Mercury Farm Vehicle Shed AJ Tech, which is Alien Gym Tech. And then you've got the four sheds, the four different shelters. And then there's four different drive-through shelters as well. You can see they're a little bit cheaper. So there is a, a huge amount to uh, have a look at on there. There's uh, lots of different ones to choose from. But yeah, nice looking mods. Nice sheds. I couldn't get them to go very close to each other though, which was uh, the only downside. But overall, 
there is loads and it is the game changers are the seeds you can buy them so cheap now with the fertilizer and storing silos so cheap 59 grand for storing silos so let's go and get the truck and drop some in because we got to see what make sure this uh, trailer is working okay I hope it doesn't crash it seemed to be when I had the trailer in picture it was doing it a lot more so I think we're just draw you in and do we get a trigger yes we do Whoa. so that's just coming out of the normal doors and it is a tipper so you can obviously it's going to hit the roof I think there is a yeah that well it didn't like that very much did it that's one major problem i knew it was that bloody trailer right back in a minute right so we've established we have a problem with this trailer there's a problem is that bar hanging out a bit I think that is gone back since I loaded the game in because the game did crash oh yeah it's whoa yeah you can see it keeps flashing up come back but at least it's not sticking out of the back now yeah you can see there so I'm not going to tip that again because obviously when that goes into the collision that just crashed the game and didn't like it this trailer is not happy so let's just unload it is that I don't think that's my bit of land so let's do this here let's get rid of what we got in the back So that's the green door green doors that is coming out quite quick so then we got the tip side back which that's what it did earlier and then crashed so hopefully it won't this time I think it's just because it got caught yeah that's emptied, that emptied up that pretty quick. Wow, that uh, goes up pretty, pretty fast. And high. That is uh, very high. Right, let's drop that down. So the other thing we've got on there, so we've got the cover which will open and And it won't close now it might close now there we go we can open and close the cover and also the wheel we can raise and lower now the it has got rear wheel steering you can see it moving on the uh, back there it's pretty cool and then we go through the lights while we're here now <laughs> I was just so scared it was going to crash earlier which it could do anyway now yeah nice looking mod plus you if you want to have a look inside so we want to open the cover you can get your ladder out we do the unfold ladder comes out the side And you can have a look what's inside and obviously it's empty and then you can just put that back away jobs are good and easy as that 
Righto, well, that is it for today. Lots of buildings from Alien Gym. One trailer which is having issues. Hopefully that get resolved. Let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with it because um, it hopefully is not just me. I did think it was a memory problem earlier, so I did delete um, I freed up, it was about 100 uh, gigabytes, so it was plenty. And I still having problems. Well, it crashed on me, that was the fourth time it's crashed, which is too many bloody times. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then don't forget to leave me a like. And if you haven't already subscribed and wanna see more content, then hit that subscribe button and you won't miss any other videos. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.